always try my best for you You just know it is true What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'll be sharing a little hiking day trip we made with our friends Roy and Jonah out to the Marinda Reservoir Park, which is a beautiful green park area with the Marinda Dam. We wanted to get a little bit of activity in between all the eating we've been doing over the Christmas New Year period, but also still be able to get a sleep in while we're on holidays, because you know, once we go back to work, we wouldn't be able to do that anymore. So this location was a perfect choice for a half-day hike. Marinda Reservoir Park is an easy 1 hour 20 minute drive out from the Melbourne CBD. Our friends live in between us and the park, so we decided to carpool and pick them up on our way there. The park is just out from Hillsville, and once you get off the freeway, you start seeing some beautiful vineyards and farms along the way. We figured we wouldn't have a heavy meal before the hike, so we had light lunches at home before heading out. The entrance to the park is a little side turn off from a windy road. Keep a lookout once your GPS tells you that it's coming up, because if you miss it like we did, it's a little tricky to do a U-turn to get back. Once you get past the entry gate, keep driving in and you'll eventually hit a huge parking lot. Alright, so at the entryway, there are a whole lot of walking trails, but we decided to start off with the easy down walk first, then explore and see what other trails we would take from there. Definitely, the dam walk is nice and easy. There are picnic spots at the base, then steps on the right leading up the side of the dam. They've done it up pretty nicely, so this is a great opportunity to grab some photos on the way up. Once you get to the top, you're up on the dam. And it's pretty surreal to see a whole lot of pent up water on one side, and on the other, all of the land that would be completely submerged if it were to ever crack. Not that that would ever happen. The walls are nice and high, maybe a little too high for someone my height. The dam goes for 291 meters, which is a nice length to get lots of photos along that top. On the other end, there is a spillway overflow area with a rock channel chute that can manage 465 meter cubes of water per second. The engineering nerd in me is coming out. The pathway is well paved and leads you down the other side of the dam, basically along the tree line and foliage, then we made our way to the lookout point. To be honest, again, I couldn't really see over the top, but it was great to see the little bit that I could and to get the fresh air up there. It was a gorgeous day, perfect for a hike, and we got more photo ops at this lookout point. Next, we decided to find the Denali Ware picnic area, which was 1.2 km from the base of the lookout point. We took a little detour off the side to check out Echo Tunnel, which turned out to be this medium channel that was caged up and had a whole lot of fallen trees behind it. We backtracked to keep heading to find that picnic area, only to find the path had been closed off and we couldn't get through. So we backtracked again to figure out what path we'd take next. We finally decided on going up Henderson's Hill. 
Okay, this steep climb gravel track sign is a real understatement. It starts off innocently with a level walking path through the bush, but I swear about 80% of the track was at a 45 degree angle. Jonah was a pro leading us up the path. Once you made it to the top, there's a little bit of a view. I think I was too puffed out and I forgot to film that bit. Then the track downwards began and let me tell you, I think it was easier going up cause going down at a 45 degree angle on gravel road was slippery as. Take good care if you do choose to take this path cause I did slip at one part and when Josh heard me yelp, he turned around and slipped also. One of us has a bruise on their ass. I'll let you guess who that is. There were also a fair bit of fallen trees along the path. I'll insert a clip over here of the first one we encountered on our way down. It was huge and we had to climb over it. Some of us may or may not have gotten some splinters on our bum. I'll also let you guess who out of the four of us did. We came across a couple more fallen trees, but I think they fell earlier than the last one because the park team had cut through one and cut steps through the second one, which made it easier for us to cross. Let me tell you, that was a good workout going up that hill and back down. I definitely felt my thighs getting a workout. Once we got to the base, we hit a fork in the road. At this point, we've been out for a good couple of hours and because we were meeting our other friends Cal and Ray for dinner and a movie night after, we decided to start making our way back. We basically came back on the other side of the entrance, so we looped back to get back to the picnic area where they had tables and open space to hang out and also public restrooms. All up, we hiked about 9.5km, which was about 13,300 steps on Jonah's tracker and climbed a height of about 49 flights of stairs. Not too bad for an afternoon hike. We headed back to Roy and Jonah's place where we did egg chiffon rice takeaway from this Hong Kong cafe. If any of you guys are from Melbourne and used to eat out late in the city back in 2010 or so, you'll know that Chinatown was like the only place you could get food late at night back then and A1 egg chiffon rice was the best. So this Hong Kong cafe is actually the owners of A1 back in the day who moved out to Croydon and opened shop. The food was delicious, Jonah and I got the veggie option, and the rest of the group got the barbecue pork on rice. And we ended the night watching Tenet, which Roy rented for us, and we played board games after. Overall, it was a really fun day out. It was beautiful weather for a hike, and I definitely recommend Marinda Reservoir Park for a day or half day trip out of Melbourne. There were a whole lot more trails that you could explore, so you could make it as long or short of a day out as you prefer. Alright, so that was just a little snippet of a half day trip we made out of Melbourne. I hope you guys enjoyed checking it out with me. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe because it really helps to support my channel and I'll be back next week with another video. Also, you can check out my Instagram handle over here for more content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!